so in the previous activity we uh, in the previous tutorial so in the previous tutorial we actually fetched the uh, current user and checked if there is some user logged in or not so if uh, this instance is null that means there is no user logged in if not null then it, there mean, then it means there is some log, someone logged in so if it is not there is no no one logged in we need to start the login activity so inside that login activity we are not actually creating the uh, actually implementing the login activity here as we cannot log in before actually signing uh, signing up we first need to provide functionality to this button so that user can jump to sign up page and there we will get the email address and password and then provide and then do the sign up so let's uh, go to this relative layout and provide it an id it's, it already got an id which is rl sign up sign in sign in so let's go to login activity which is project app com and here login activity inside that login activity we need to create a relative layout instance and relative layout sign up we need to initialize it inside on create and rl sign up is equal to find view by id you can use the shortcut fb press enter r dot id dot and the id we just copied and as soon as this sign up uh, this complete relative layout is clicked we need to jump to sign up activity so we can use that use the on click listener and rl sign up dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click listener we need to start that activity so we will use again the start activity new intent from this login activity dot this to where we want to go the sign up activity now the user can jump go to uh, sign up activity so let's fetch the value from you uh, from xml to java so first create uh, first create three instance of add text private edit text and edit text email and edit text password and edit text repeat password we also need a reference for the button so private button that was text view i think yep this is text view not the button so change it to text view and text view sign up let's initialize them and it is email is equal to or dot id dot et sign up email let's do this for all Now that we have initialized these text, uh, these uh, attributes and these instances, now is the time we get the values from them and perform the operation. So we need to store the values. So first create a string. Sorry, email is equal to m edit text email not get text dot to string string password.
now we have uh, got the uh, string values of these these edit text the very first thing we need to check is if they if these all are not empty so as soon as the button is clicked we need to check if these are all empty or not so let's create this uh, let's first set the on click listener to this text view now here we need actually just fetch these values from here and first check if all are not null so if email dot is empty we need to, we are actually performing the check on if not empty and again em password dot is empty not empty and repeat password dot is empty now this else will be executed only if any one of these three edit text have some empty values so please enter no field can be left blank so we need also a toast message and we can say please fill the values and inside this if now we have got got the values we need to check if all uh, if the password and repeat password text is same or not so if password equals repeat password now this else statement will be executed when the text inside password and repeat password is not same so we need to ask the user to provide the same password so we can toast a message password not match and if it is met then we can create we can just write password match now after the password is matched we need to check if it is if the password is more than six character longs or not as it is mentioned in the firebase authentication documentation that the firebase the password for the user should be more than six character long so we need to check if password dot length is greater than six else password length short so we need to we need another toast message the password must be six character long and if it is greater than six then here we need to perform the sign up so the very first thing is we need as firebase auth instance so let's create one private firebase auth m firebase auth initialize it m firebase auth is equal to firebase auth dot get instance now here we need to call a function firebase auth dot create user with email and password and provide the email as a first argument and password as a second argument so email password sorry not like this and at the end of this we need to check if we need a callback function so that we can actually update the user if uh, some if the user logged in or not so we can add here add on click listener sorry not add on click listener but add on complete listener and provide a new interface 
not this one but on com complete listener and here the we can override the on complete now inside the on complete we need to check if this task was successful or not so if task dot is successful it means that the user created and once the once the user is created we need to start the main activity so start activity new intent from sign up activity dot this to main activity dot class and now we need to finish this one but if the task was not successful then we can just inform the user that there was some mistakes this there was something that went wrong so something went wrong please try again now we also need to check if uh, uh, we also need to add another listener which is dot add on failure listener now this will be executed when there was some failure so we need to inform the user with message just say error and then add the error to it get look e dot get localized message and we need to add another callback function which is add on cancelled listener and we need again a toast message cancelled try again now we have successfully implemented the sign up functionalities so let's just run the app and see if we can create an account so it is on the uh, sign in activity we need to go to sign up activity so we click that and here we need to provide the email so let's start okay we need to change this text to white as well so and the password one two three four five six one two three four five six and let's sign up password must be six character long it is six character long but why it is asking again that's because we need to make it greater than or equal to six okay we will do that later but let's add another digit seven seven and sign up okay i already created this email address so as you can see we added this this on failure listener which is error and that get localized message is actually informing us us that what what went wrong so just change the email address from here to this one and perform the sign up okay now you can see that we have successfully logged in the user we have created the account and uh, logged the user in and started the main activity if we go to firebase console let me show you that and inside the firebase console if we go to authentication we can see that both the account has been created one with Vukas at the vukas onecom that we just created and another one which I created while testing the app so this is how you can implement the authentication uh, sign up creation of an account so this is pretty much everything for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will be getting the email address and password from the user and then performing the sign in operation so thank you for watching